according to the 2010 constitution the following is the primary function of the salaries remuneration commission and i quote to set and regularly review the remuneration and benefits of all state officers all state officers including the president all the way down to the cleaner at the ministry of foreign affairs and in line with that function the src came out with proposals to increase the salaries of president ruto deputy president rigadi gashagwa all the cabinet secretaries and all the members of parliament amongst other top officials and in less than three hours after they came out with that proposal president william ruto vetoed that move now in this video i want us to look into why the src increased the salaries of the top dons and also why president william ruto vetoed that proposal but before we get into that if you're here for the first time please go on and hit the subscribe button and if you're watching from a different platform just head on over to youtube search for david wafula hit the subscribe button you're going to be getting a ton of content of this nature if politics is something you're passionate about this is definitely the one channel that you really really need to subscribe to now i'll just read you the salary increments of three state officials president ruto's salary was to be increased from 1,433,750 shillings to 1,650,000 the salary of deputy president shigadi gashago was to move from 1,227,188 to 1,402,500 the salary of the chief justice koome was to go from 1,327,888 to 1,403,942 and just so you know, even the CSs, the PSs, the speakers, the members of parliament in the Senate and the National Assembly, they were all getting a salary raise. So why was the SRC increasing these salaries? The first reason is because of the 2023 finance bill. I suspect that some of these members of parliament were told initially to support the bill because much as the cost of living will go up, they will be compensated for the same. So that to them, it's like nothing changed. Whatever changes they are feeling in the economy, the same has been effected in their salaries. So this was designed to cushion the top officials in the country from inflation and the high cost of living. Based on the timing, personally, I don't see any other reason. Or perhaps maybe they felt because with the new finance bill, they'll be collecting extra revenue. So they are locating themselves a bit more shillings in their pockets. But either way, from the moment that story broke, there was a lot of bipartisan anger from both sides of the divide. Kenya Kwanza supporters were not happy with that at all, and Azimio supporters were not happy with that at all. Because it's almost like a slap in the face. These guys are getting hit hard by the economy. No one is increasing their salaries. Most of them are not even employed, and they have to sit and watch as top government officials increase their own salaries. So the national mood towards this move was very negative. In fact, if you were to look around to find one person who is supportive of this, you'll have to look very, very hard. And the president automatically saw the mood of the country. So when he had a chance at the podium, he vetoed the SRC and directed them to stop those proposals immediately. So there'll be no increment on his own salary or the DPs or any of the CSs or the MPs or either of the speakers of both houses. That idea has been shelved. Shelved perhaps for a later date, but as at now, it has been shelved. A proposal by the Salaries and Remuneration Commission for the increase of salaries of different cadres of uh, both civil servants and other public servants. They have made a recommendation to us that uh, they want to increase uh, salaries of uh, civil servants by an average of between 7 and 10 percent. And because of the economic times we live in, we have approved that salaries of other civil servants can be adjusted beginning the beginning tomorrow but for the other people the state officers myself my deputy ministers pss na wale wadosi wengine wa bunge na wale wengine sisi mambo yetu tungoje tafadhali hiyo mshahara itakuwa mapo mimi nimeona watu wanasema oh mshahara ya kuna watu fulani hapana now the president did that automatically because he saw the mood of the country no one was supportive of that move and also it had led to serious demoralization of government workers not everyone works in job group t and above there are those who are in job group h j and so on and so forth and they're not earning that nice package 
So the president instead directed the SRC to increase the salaries of junior state officers by 7 to 10 percent. So come end of this month, all junior state officers in this country are going to see an increment of 7 to 10 percent in their salaries. And that is a very good move because it cushions them from all these levies which are being effected. Housing is 3 percent. These people are employed by government, so they have to pay NHIF that is automatic. That is 2.75 percent. On top of that, there is NSSF. I'm not too sure how much they are paying. It should be a percent. So when you put those levies together, it's coming to in between 6 and 7 percent. And if they get to have that kind of salary increment, it means that they have now been cushioned from all this housing levy, uh, NHIF, NSSF. They are now free to enjoy their salary, save maybe the obvious tax deductions based on their brackets. So that is a very good move by the president. It boosts the morale of the government state officers. This is a move that touches on the drivers who drive all these people. The cleaners, the subordinate staff, they are all going to see this increment. Now, while the president was on stage talking about how the increment for all the top dons needs to be put aside by the SRC, when he made that statement, there was no immediate clapping in the room. And if you do the reconnaissance, the room was full of CSs and all these people who are going to benefit from this salary increment. So it's safe to say that this move was a move of President Ruto alone. I suspect that these MPs were promised a salary increment to cushion them from this high cost of living, because maybe that's what they demanded in exchange to supporting the bill. But the president has tossed that aside he has gone with the thinking of the citizens and that is the way to move with the people i saw some guy who was being interviewed i believe it was by citizen and he was saying that if the president listens to mps and senators and governors he'll go wrong but if he listens to the common monainchi things will never go wrong on his part and this is part of listening within three hours of people complaining the president vetoed the src and the src is not crazy they cannot come out with these proposals if certain key people in government were not already in the know this is not a birthday present to President Ruto so that it is a surprise. He's just opening the newspaper and suddenly his salary has increased. These are things that were automatically floated to some high-ranking officials and they approved. That is why the SRC went forward with it and publicized to the public. But as usual, guys, that's just my opinion. Do drop me your comments in the comment section below. Do you think that the president did the right thing to veto that proposal by the SRC and subsequently to increase the salaries of the junior state officers or should he not even have increased either of anybody's salaries? Do let me know in the comment section below. I'll do my best to read it and to give you a response. Now, in the event you're here for the first time, please go on and hit the subscribe button. And if you're watching from a different platform, just head on over to YouTube, search for David Wafula, hit the subscribe button. You're going to be getting a ton of content of this nature. If politics is something you're part about this is definitely the one channel that you really really need to subscribe to all right guys adios Thank you for choosing David Wafula as your primary news platform. We put countless hours in research, recording, and editing. By showing up each and every day to watch our videos, you encourage us to generate more videos for the viewers. We are on a mission to inform, educate, and build a better tomorrow. To our thousands of followers in a world full of presidents, kings, and queens, you are the real gem. Adiós.